Hello everyone, welcome to the uh, second lesson in the uh, Journey with Natty Mart series. This one is called Jamaica to Japan, where we're going to trace the kind of the history of modern Jamaican music and look at its um, international reach. Now, when we think of uh, music in Jamaica, we immediately uh, think of reggae, as we should. But there was music that came before. So let's start with Mento. Mento is kind of the folk music of uh, Jamaica, which had its heyday in the uh, 50s. Probably the most famous Mento song is uh, the Banana Boat song, which most people would be aware of. Um, you've heard it, but you might not know the title. So I just want to go something like, Deo, Mesade, Mesade, Mesade. Till I come and me wanna go Come Mr. Tallyman, come tally me banana Till I come So this is a song that was made popular by Harry uh, Belafonte in the 50s A lot of people have, uh, have uh, covered it And it's talking about uh, the night shift worker um, Working with uh, bananas and he's asking the, uh, the Tallyman uh, to come and count up his bananas so he can get paid and, 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 uh, and uh, go his way. So that's the original uh, folk music of uh, Jamaica. The same, uh, same like in Trinidad, they've got Calypso. In um, Jamaica, they've got Mento. And it was Mento and kind of R&B, original uh, R&B, which kind of came together, this fusion, and made Scar. Um, so this happened in a, Jamaica got its um, radio, international radio connection in the 50s, but the music that, that, that was there didn't really appeal to those of uh, Bob Marley's uh, generation um, growing up in the 50s and 60s. So what they used to do, they used to tune in to the American stations, obviously, and if you tune into um, uh, Miami and to New Orleans, you're going to get blues and rhythm and blues. So that's how... Rhythm and blues came to influence uh, ska music. Um, so people like um, Roscoe Gordon, probably the biggest name or the biggest influence on the musicians of that time was probably uh, Fats Domino. If you listen to, to interviews, people like to say Bob Marnier, Burning Spear, whoever, these people mention people like, as a, the biggest influence people like, Fats Domino, Roscoe Gordon, um, Nat King Cole, and uh, such people. So it was this kind of fusion of rhythm and blues and jazz and um, mento, the original folk music, that came and kind of gave a scar. Now I think of a scar as independence music because it came to its kind of first prominence in the early 60s. Remember, Jamaica got its um, independence in 1962. So for me, it kind of, it's, 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 it's like a symbol of a, of a, of a, the kind of, the vibrancy that people felt at the time of independence. Yeah, this can be, you know, this is our land, we've uh, reclaimed it back. And, and, and when I say our land, I have to make a distinction there because we weren't uh, taken there until the time of slavery from the 15th century onwards. The original people came from um, South, uh, South America, Venezuela, called the Arawaks and, uh, and the Caribs, which is where we get uh, the, the Caribbean, the word uh, uh, um, Caribbean from. So the original people actually were people that are called the Arawaka Indians. So these were the first people on uh, Jamaica and um, they called it Zamaka, which means land of wood and water. Okay, so they were the original people, and then we started to come in in the uh, in the fifteenth uh, century. So then you had this music that was coming from uh, America. You had this homegrown music called Mento, and this came together to form to, to form this fusion. So what I'm going to do here is just start to play you a uh, selection of music, just. Um, Tracing some of the uh, history. So the first tune I'm going to play and vinyl. This is this is um, very important because kind of now we tend to uh, download music or listen to music on uh, CDs or other forms. 
back in the day, it was a vinyl. So I'm going to play you a scar. Shame we haven't got time to play um, all of uh, um, each um, selection that I make, but that just gives you an idea of the kind of scar and the, the vibrancy of uh, the music. So that was made by um, Don Drummond and the uh, Scatterlights. Now the Scatterlights were like the first great kind of backing band in uh, in uh, Jamaica. There um, there were been um, other synths such as um, the Soul Syndicate which featured uh, Chinna, um, Earl Chinna Smith, one of the great guitarists, he's played with just everyone. Um, Sly and Robbie, um, a great um, bass and drummer team. Um, they played with everyone in reggae, but they also played with people like Madonna and the Rolling Stones and Grace Jones and, uh, and, uh, and uh, such people. So, so that gives it an idea of a scar. I'm just gonna play just the last little bit of that. And as you can hear, a feature of uh, the, the music was the, the horn section, a lot of saxophone, um, um, a lot of trumpets. As I say, the uh, Scatterites were one of the um, the uh, great, um, well, probably the first great kind of super group as far as uh, backing bands were uh, concerned. Other bands, as I said, there was a um, Earl Chinna Smith was a member of Soul Syndicate, Sly and Robbie, who um, um, bass and drum team um, kind of the kind of bedrock of bands like the um, Revolutionaries, other bands uh, such as Roots Radix. Um, the bass player in the Roots Radix, Flabber Holt, is my favourite uh, bassist. So that gives a little look at um, uh, Scar. So that kind of, in its uh, prominence from the early 60s until the mid 60s. In the mid 60s, we've got uh, Rocksteady, which is more kind of influenced by um, soul music. Um, People like uh, James Brown, Curtis Mayfield. Um, so that's a uh, rock steady. So it went from ska, which is more kind of upbeat, down to rock steady, which kind of slowed down a bit. Um, probably the um, main um, studio for rock steady was a uh, Treasure Isle, which was owned by uh, Duke Reed, who was an ex copper, um, left the uh, police force and went into a uh, music production. And if we go back to Scar, probably the, the legendary or the most well-known of the studios that produced Scar was a Studio One. So Studio One for Scar. Um, and when we think of a Rocksteady, we think of a Treasure Isle, which is owned by um, uh, Duke Reed. And then from there, um, from say the mid 60s, 65, 66, you had Rocksteady, and then we go into reggae. And if we go back again to Scar, Scar was a thing that influenced British groups such as a uh, Selector, um, the uh, Specials. So there was a revival in this country in the uh, late seventies of uh, of um, uh, ska music, and the people that were really in into music of that time, ska and rocksteady, were like the mods. Now, if you've ever seen a film called a uh, called Jafinia starring um, Sting, that will give you um, um, an impression of the way kind of the English youth. Um, got into the music and skinheads when we think of uh, skinheads now we think of them as kind of racist uh, thuggery but the original skinheads were into the music I mean well, um, well into the music when we think of things like blue beat and uh, such aspects so that just gives you um, um, uh, a little history Scar, 
rock steady so it had ska which is a bit more kind of upbeat and kind of uh scintillating you might say and then it slows down a bit um into uh rock steady and then slows down again into a reggae so because um we've only got a certain amount of time what i'm going to do is um give you a selection of some of my favorite um Roos reggae records okay this is um by um someone called um Al Campbell. This is called Free Man. Now this is kind of a true that I would play. If I uh, step out there and it's a day when racism <laughs> hits me harder than other days, um, I, com uh, I might come in and uh, listen to this because to me, Roosh Reggae music is like remedy. When the fuel uh, levels are low and I need a top up, I will either read a book or I will uh, listen to um, Roosh uh, Reggae music. This tune is called Free Man. So as I say, when there's days when uh, um, racism hit, um, hits me harder than other days, this is a kind of a, this is a kind of music that I'd listen to. This is called Free Man. So what I'm going to try and do as well here is introduce you to other uh, reggae singers and musicians because most people when they think of reggae they think of uh, Bob Marley or, or, or they think of UB40 and that's it. So this is my opportunity to introduce you to some of the, uh, of the other great singers and musicians. Okay, this one is a song of faith. Now whether you call on uh, Rastafari or, or Jesus Christ or Muhammad or whether you call on your parent or your partner, an uncle, an auntie, whoever, this is a song of faith and of uh, and of friendship. This is called Sticky Stay, one of the sweetest melodies by the Wailing Souls. These are these are groups born in the same era as uh, Bob Marley in a uh, trench town. There we go, it's a tune by uh, Wailing Souls, one of the uh, groups in Trenchtown that were tutored by Joe Higgs, the first star to come from the uh, Trenchtown area. Um, now, I did want to play you, um, uh -huh, here we have it.
you know, when I hear of another another young person that's uh, been knifed or been shot, um, this is a tune that I uh, think of. This is actually um, a tune that was first covered by um, Bob Dylan and um, has been covered by Luciano, who's one of the singers that uh, came up in the late 80s and um, early 90s. So the same way to say like Eric Clapton covered uh, Bob Marley's I Shot the Sheriff. Um, we have, uh, this is a whole album of, um, of um, music of Bob Dylan, which has been covered by uh, reggae musicians. So this is one called by uh, Luciano. And as I say, every time I hear of uh, another death, a young, young person being knifed or shot, um, this is a tune I uh, think of. Knocking on heaven's door. Mama, think this bad. I can't use it anymore. It's getting too dark, too dark to see. says uh mama take these guns off of me i can't shoot them anymore he's talking about the um vietnam war so um for me there's warfare going on amongst the gangs in uh, some of uh, the cities in this country so when i hear of another death that's the song that i uh put on this one this one says it all as far as music and as a source of remedy, as medicine. You me dancing, dancing my troubles away. Like Gregory Isaacs. Oh God. You keep me rocking, rocking night and day. Even I say. Now, until a cocaine addiction uh, got to him and uh, meshed up his voice, he had one of the uh, sweetest voices. And when you talk about the, um, in, the, in, the influences from America, if you listen to his early music, you're, you know for sure that he was influenced by um, one of the people I mentioned earlier, uh, Nat King Cole. Okay, the sun is shining. So this is a good uh, time to play this one by uh, Mikey Dread, where he gives thanks to God for, uh, for the sun. And this has got one of the sweetest melodies. Jaja, love you, 
keep shining forever. That's by the great Michael Dredd. This is by Ras Michael, one of the great drummers. Glory be to the Father. Peace and love. Unto the all of all of creation. As I was from the beginning, I'm here and always will be. Ja, Uncle God, Ja, Rastafari. We all know good and how blessed it is for I and I to be together in unity. Let's get together, sisters and brothers, as we should always do. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love, my friends, for you. Now we have Barrington Levy, a great song of uh, positivity and upliftment. This is called Don't Give Up. Greatest living reggae singer, Burning Spear. This is a song of oneness, of a togetherness. And we think that kind of this music came came from this small island in the Caribbean and it's just gone massive, you know, kind of some of the biggest uh, reggae festivals are held in Europe, in Spain and in Germany and in Sweden, uh, for instance. So from a small island in the Caribbean, it's out there. And if you go to a night called um, the University of Dub, which is held at the Scala, a cinema, an old cinema in uh, King's Cross, then you really, really will hear that oneness because you hear accents from all over the place, from South America, from from France, from Italy, from all over the Caribbean, from, from Africa. Yeah. So that's called uh, University of Dub, and it consists of um, the resident sound system called Abishanti Eye, and then two, uh, two uh, guest uh, sound systems. Now, sound systems are kind of just 
these big kind of systems kind of speakers and some you can actually step into the, the, the size of them. If you go to Notting Hill Carnival, you'll, um, you'll, um, you'll hear, for instance, Channel One, who are always set, set up in the uh, Westbourne, um, Westbourne Park uh, area. Okay, so we're going from uh, Burning Spear, who I say is my favourite uh, living um, uh, reggae singer, to Freddie McGregor, who I think of as one of the uh, Melody Men. I think of Bob Marley as the greatest of all the Melody Men. He just came with sweet melody time after time after time. But another one who, who came with um, sweet melodies was uh, Freddie McGregor. Now, I'm actually thinking, shall I play you a uh, big ship sailing on the ocean, a song of uh, togetherness, people uh, pulling together through struggle, or shall I play for you um, No More War in the uh, Ghettos, which is another um, song against um, gang warfare, especially um, um, political warfare. So I'm, I'm going between the two, and I think... I'm probably going to go for... Uh, I'll tell you what, let's play both of them. Yes. I'll play a little bit of uh, both of them. So the first one is called Big Ship. This is a song of uh, coming together, solidarity through adversity. Big Ship. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sailing, sailing. Hold on steady, we're moving off at lightning speed. Yeah. Take a seat and wait till I'm ready. I'm coming, so hold on steady. Yeah. Big ships sailing on the ocean. We don't need no commotion. Big ships sailing on the ocean. Oh, boy. See, big ships sailing on the ocean. Before I go into that, I just want to say about the, the international reach, you know, Japan, you know, is one of the um, largest markets for uh, reggae music. And when we take it back to Jamaica, Jamaica's um, national motto is out of many, one people. And you could say kind of uh, out of many, one reggae, because when we think of the input that the Chinese Jamaicans have had in in, in um the development of uh, reggae music is quite phenomenal. You think, how did the Chinese get there? Well, what happened kind of, when we no longer, at the end of slavery, we no longer wanted, wanted to work on the plantations. They brought pe um, um, people in from Asia as indentured uh, labourers to work on the uh, plantations. And kind of, with time, you know, they became a part of the uh, uh, Jamaican society. So when you think of the, the, the input the Chinese Jamaicans have had, Bob Marley's first producer, when he was 17, when he made his first, uh, his, his, uh, his first song, um, Judge Not, it was uh, Leslie Kong, was a producer. Uh, Tony Chin, who isn't up on the wall, but um, Chinna Smith, who we mentioned earlier, who was a guitarist with the Soul Syndicate, which is one of the great backing bands. The guitarist in there, or the other guitarist, was uh, Tony Chin. Uh, when we look at uh, the Channel One Studios, um, that was owned by um, the Yap Brothers. Um, Vincent Chin um, was the owner of a Randy Studio. 
um, Mikey Chung, when we see um, um, old films of Peter Tosh, the uh, Chinese guy in there playing guitar is Mikey Chung. His brother, uh, Jeffrey Chung, was a multi-instrumentalist, uh, produced albums by people such as uh, Pablo Moses. So the Chinese have had a real kind of input into, um, into um, uh, Jamaican music. And one of the great singers that came out in the 70s was Ai Kong, who is um, still going. Okay, so I'm going to just play uh, two more uh, tunes for you. The first one is um, a tribute uh, to the king by uh, this man here, uh, Prince Far Right. Um, this is cool. So he mentions uh, some other people. It's a tribute to the king. And I shall find it in just a minute. There we go, lovely. Okay. Sunny shining people. So let's have the last tune by the king. Sunny shining. Weather is sweet. Make you wanna move and dance and feel Cause the rain's here Here I am Want you to know ya Can you understand? When in the morning Y'all got the rainbow Yeah, yeah Want you to know kind of potted kind of history of uh, Jamaican music so we've gone from ska in the early 60s uh, to the mid 60s we had um, the music kind of slowed down um, had rock steady and most of this uh, music was tend to be kind of more kind of love content and then in the late 60s from 60 onwards we had reggae and roots reggae which is more about kind of social comment and, um, and, um, and um, political uh, lyrics um, and then that just has gone international. So one of the things, that, um, so part of your homework, one is to listen to um, or so, to watch uh, a DVD, a short one. It's called, if you just Google, Jashaka in Japan. So it's him. Um, so Jashaka is one of the big names in uh, roots reggae music in this country. Um, his sound system has ruled the dance hall since the mid 70s, say, say since uh, 75. Um, but he's also a multi instrumentalist and producer, um, songwriter. Um, so look at that uh, YouTube uh, video because you will see the real kind of international reach of, um, of reggae music. There's Jashaka, 
uh, Jamaican man, born in Jamaica, came to live here as a teenager in England and is out in Japan. There's all these Japanese young people jumping around at this festival. Lovely little uh, YouTube um, video. So please watch that um, and listen to two of my favourite songs which I haven't got on vinyl. One is by um, Culture. It's called Humble African. Yeah, Humble African by Culture. And another one is uh, by Freddie McGregor called Peace and Love. So please um, listen to them. And your homework um, is either to uh, design a poster. You've got a choice of two. One is either um, an anti-gang violence event, a reggae event, um, or one celebrating Bob Marley's birthday. So he's born on, on February the 6th. So you've got a choice either to do a poster celebrating Bob Marley, born on February the 6th, or... Um, 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 you're organising a pretend reggae event, which is um, about anti-gang violence. Thank you very much for your time. I hope that I've been able to give you kind of an introduction to some other singers and musicians and producers apart from um, uh, Bob Marley. And that from this, you'll kind of share and you'll uh, begin to appreciate roots reggae music more. Thank you very much. Respect.